According to Elon's Gender and LGBTQIA Center, almost 8% of freshmen and students don't identify as straight. Our Rachel Ellis spoke with a few students about Valentine's Day as part of the LGBTQIA community. A poem. I fall deeper. I wonder how deep I can go. A token of affection, one which freshman Jubitsa Figueroa, who identifies as gay, doesn't take lightly. I take a lot of pride in knowing that I am in a relationship with another woman, so we have complete freedom to to be as extra as we want. Figueroa loves love, making Valentine's Day what she says one of the best days of the year because she gets to show her girlfriend, who requested to be anonymous, how much she means to her. I think it's a great day, and it's about love, and no matter what, you should just... Um, People should express their love for, for each other in whatever way they want. Growing up, Figueroa says she felt accepted by her peers, but not always by her parents. They say like, oh, who's your friend? And I have to correct them and say, oh, no, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> Director of the LGBTQIA Center, Matthew Antonio Bosch, declined an on-camera interview with Elon News Network, but told ENN, quote, many of our students felt that Valentine's Day is fine, and is not sort of against what any of them think. But Figueroa says being herself on Elon's campus isn't always easy, especially around Valentine's Day. And so I've walked around campus like with her and I make sure to not say certain things or not do certain things or not look at her a certain way in front of certain people. Um, which is disheartening. Freshman Jazz Harris and Tiana Lynn, who have been dating for almost six months, celebrated their first Valentine's Day as a couple this year. Lynn identifies with they, them pronouns and says seeing him and her gifts sold in stores is disappointing. You are never going to see they, then there's like things on anything. So I don't know. That's just something that I'm just like, okay, well, and it's kind of, it just kind of, it kind of sucks a little bit. But beyond the Hallmark cards, the couple feels accepted as a gay couple on Elon's campus, <laughs> as well as by their families. My family really likes her. They told me not to screw up. With love, Rachel Ellis, ELN Morning. For more information on Elon's gender, LGBTQIA Center, visit room 211 in Upstairs Mosley.